My dear brothers and sisters, we live in times of great upheaval. The storms we see around us are not just acts of nature but messages from the heavens, signs of a deeper, spiritual crisis. This is not merely about hurricanes that tear through our cities, it is about the soul of a nation on the brink of collapse. Our Lord has spoken to Father Chris Aller, revealing that the storm we call Hurricane Milton is not an isolated event. It is the beginning of the end for America as we know it. This is not a message to be taken lightly. The very fabric of this country is unraveling, and unless we act now, both in spirit and in practice, what we have long known as the United States will soon be no more. America stands on the edge of a precipice. Hurricane Milton, with its fierce winds and relentless destruction, is just the beginning of what's to come. Our Lord revealed to Father Chris Aller that this storm is a precursor, a herald of the great devastation that will sweep across the land. The consequences will be felt in every city, every town, every home. Hurricane Milton, though terrible in its wrath, pales in comparison to what follows. For the storm is but a warning of what will transpire if the hearts of this nation remain hardened. Our Lord made it clear, the USA will disappear. Yes, this country, founded on principles that once reflected God's order, is teetering on the brink of destruction, unless there is a national repentance. The spiritual decay of this nation has been laid bare for all to see. The violence, the moral decay, the turning away from God's law, all have brought us to this critical juncture. The storm is not merely about fallen trees and flooded homes. It is about fallen souls and flooded hearts, overwhelmed with the sin that has overtaken this land. This is the storm America has refused to see, the storm of spiritual collapse. The storm outside is but a reflection of the tempest within. As Hurricane Milton continues to wreak havoc, certain key figures will come into focus. Our Lord has shown us that the leadership of this nation is failing, and the consequences will be dire. The first and most significant sign will be the physical and political deterioration of President Joe Biden. Already, there are whispers of his health faltering, but the aftermath of this storm will bring this issue into the light for all to see. Our Lord revealed to Father Aller that Biden's health will drastically deteriorate in the wake of Hurricane Milton, and he will no longer be able to lead. His weakness will not only be physical but symbolic, representing the weakened state of a nation that has lost its way. As Biden struggles with his health, his administration will fail to manage the chaos and destruction that the storm has left behind. The White House will be in disarray. With confusion reigning, decisions that should be swift and decisive will be delayed, and the nation will suffer for it. The storm's aftermath will expose a deeper, more dangerous vulnerability within the government, a complete inability to guide the nation through its most dire crisis. The leadership vacuum will be palpable, and the nation's trust in its government will crumble. Next, we will witness the collapse of key cities across the United States. New York, once a symbol of strength and prosperity, will find itself submerged, not just by the rising waters of the storm, but by a spiritual flood that it can no longer withstand. Its financial institutions will falter, and the stock markets, which many trust as the heartbeat of American power, will fail to recover. Chicago, a city already racked by violence, will descend further into chaos, as lawlessness spreads in the wake of the storm's destruction. These cities, much like ancient Babylon, have become symbols of pride and decadence, and they will fall swiftly under the weight of their sins. California, too, will not escape. The fires that have ravaged its lands are only a precursor to the greater destruction yet to come. After Hurricane Milton, the earth itself will shake, and the earthquakes that follow will level entire communities. The ground beneath California's feet is already unstable, both physically and spiritually. Our Lord has made it clear, the pride of man in this land will bring it to ruin. The Lord speaks to us through signs and symbols, and Hurricane Milton is no ordinary storm. In its roaring winds, 
we hear God's voice calling out to a nation that has turned its back on him. The clouds, dark and heavy, are a reflection of the spiritual darkness that has overtaken this land. The floods that have washed away homes and businesses symbolize the cleansing that is needed, the washing away of sin that has stained this nation. In the storm's eye, we see the stillness of judgment. It is as though the very breath of God pauses for a moment, waiting to see if America will heed the warning or continue on its path of destruction. The lightning that cracks across the sky is a glimpse of God's wrath, swift and fierce, ready to strike at any moment. The floodwaters are not just a physical threat. They are symbolic of the flood of moral corruption that has overtaken this land. As cities are submerged, it is a reminder that without a strong foundation in God's law, no nation can stand. The waters will continue to rise, and unless America repents, they will sweep away everything in their path. What has led to this moment of crisis? Our Lord is clear. The spiritual state of this nation is in ruin. America, once blessed by God, has turned away from his teachings. The sins of pride, greed, and immorality have become rampant, and now the consequences are being felt. The storms are not just in the sky, they are in the hearts of the people. Father Aller has spoken about the urgent need for repentance. Our Lord's message is clear. If the people of this nation do not return to God, if they do not seek His forgiveness, the storms will continue to come. Hurricane Milton is but the first of many disasters that will strike this land. And it will not be just storms of wind and rain. It will be storms of fire, storms of war, storms of economic collapse. Our Lord's message to Father Aller is that America's greatest sin is its pride. The belief that we can build a nation without God, that we can thrive without His blessing, this is the root of the coming destruction. The moral decay, the loss of faith, the rejection of His commandments have brought us to this point. We have replaced God with idols of wealth, power, and pleasure, and now we face the consequences. This is not the time for complacency. Our Lord's warning is urgent. Prepare now. Spiritually, we must return to God with humble hearts. We must seek His forgiveness for the sins that have brought us to this point. Prayer, fasting, and repentance are our greatest weapons against the storms to come. We must bless our homes, gather our families, and pray for protection. We must ask God to show mercy on this land, though it has turned away from Him. Brothers and sisters, the time is now. Our Lord has spoken through Father Aller, and the message is clear. America's time is running out, but there is still hope. If we turn back to God, if we repent and seek His face, there may yet be mercy. The storm does not have to end in destruction, but the choice is ours. Will we heed the warning, or will we continue on the path to ruin?